Hey y'all, this is Church from Church's Intake. Um, I want to talk about a, a subject that a lot of people, we haven't been getting this in the schools like uh, we used to back in the day when I was going to school, and that's sex and sexually transmitted diseases. Um, it brought to my attention, like, you know, my daughter, she's about to be a sophomore, and I asked her what HIV was, AIDS, and she didn't even know what that was. And it was just like, what are they teaching in our schools nowadays? Like, parents need to be more aware of um, what we are planting in our kids, and we need to be, you know, in our kids' lives to tell them, like, you know, you shouldn't be having sex with multiple people, or you got to watch yourself, even with drinking uh from another person's uh, cup and stuff because of mono and things like that. So be aware of your kids, you know, stay on, t on tune with them and, um, you know, make sure that they know what diseases is out there, um, what they can do about, you know, preventing these diseases from happening to them in their lives and, um, you know, being mindful of things, you know, like I tell my kids don't drink after nobody, you know, if someone was to take a drink from your cup, you, you give them that whole drink. You might be mad, but I'd rather you give them the whole drink than you to catch like mono or something like that because of another person's, uh, you know, miscues or, or not being, you know, guided by their parents to be like, yo, you shouldn't drink after one another. Like everybody thinks it's so like, you know, innocent and it's really not, you know, like even um, the young adults, you know, there's like a lot of them are like into this poly, poly relationships, like multiple uh, partners and stuff and thinking that's cool. Like it seems cool. It looks cool. The women or the men's might look attractive. But if you was to catch AIDS, uh, hep hepatitis, um, you know, syphilis, all these other diseases, sexually transmitted diseases, and you know, there's new diseases coming out here as we speak, you know, from, um, you know, sex and, um, you know, sexual relations with one another. And people have to know that, you know, God judges everyone. And if you want to do that, there's a consequence and a price you have to pay. And, um, you know, like some people be burning, be burning others and, and they be acting like, oh, you the one that gave it to me or something like that. And it's not it's not that sweet once you get the diseases from the actions that you make from, you know, being in like, you know, uh, uh, you know, being in a relationship with multiple people. You know what I mean? Like having like a threesome, foursomes and stuff like that. Even when I was a kid, you know, even at, there was a point in time that I'm like, yeah, I would love to have like two women or something. But I was naive not knowing like that also brings spirits to people and people don't even understand that aspect of it like the spirit forms it's easy for a spirit to transition to you you to get that negative energy you get that negative you know that negativity and and have a spirit embedded on you through sex like that's how you can be in uh, soul ties with people as well so that's for the adults you know like you know that you can be in soul ties when you with multiple people or even with you're with a person that's got demonic spirits on them and then you yourself have intercourse with that person or you know multiple different people and you know you don't take no accountability of the the the, the spirit in sense because i even had to learn that you know what i mean like i used to be a young lad out there you know what i mean i used to have a, a few different types of women but I was also single and I ain't ever play a woman like, no, like I'm in a relationship. That's one thing I ain't do. I ain't, I ain't played a relationship and then started, you know, let's say, let's call it smutting around with a whole bunch of, you know, women or whatever. If I was involved with somebody, like if I was involved with somebody, I was dedicated to that person. We living in a day and age that, you know, you could be married to somebody and, you know, Y'all just both be cheating on each other and stuff like that, bringing different spirits and, and stuff and messing up y'all relationship, not knowing like, yeah, y'all might apologize to each other. Like, oh, I was causing you harm. You was causing me harm. So 
I got my get back on you. So I had sex with this dude or I had sex with this girl because I had to get that get back on, on you. And technically, y'all both already, you know, if y'all already have a union and then y'all going outside of the union and bringing other people in there, that's other entities. People have spirits on them. So you bring in other entities inside y'all union and that can cause havoc and confusion. And y'all be like, yo, I thought we, we, you know, we both made men's on this. And it's like, yo, y'all, y'all probably both did make men's on it. But the spirit aspect of the two, the people that you had outside of that relationship, you know what I mean? Is attached to y'all. So y'all got to repent for that. You know what I mean? Like y'all got to go to God for that. You know, it's not, it's not all, all peaches and cream. Like I know in the movies and everything, everybody be looking at all, oh, you know, that poly life is crazy and sweet or, you know, multiple people be like, oh yeah, I got multiple wives. People talking in that Africa stuff like, oh, I got multiple wives. Like it ain't about nothing. It's about everything because even back in the day and they want to bring up Bible, like people had multiple wives, like Solomon had multiple wives. What happened to Solomon? He was one of the wisest men on this earth. And then he had God's presence with him. He had wisdom with him. And he lost it because of multiple women. We failed to realize that. He fell because of women. Going into all these different types of uh, religious sectors and stuff like that. Instead of staying with God, the man that brought him all this wisdom. You know, he, he trained them to learn other people's stuff so you could be more equipped. But he didn't want him to take on other people's things. And he did. And that's what had happened. But that's here nor there about this situation like you need to be mindful telling your kids you know not to you know have multiple partners for one you know they should be we should be going back to like you know one person one man one woman that's what god ordained and that's what you're supposed to be looking for one man one woman and and that's what you're supposed to build what for the rest of your life you ain't supposed to have that one woman and that one man and keep them stuck stagnant because you not ready to grow or that your partner's not ready to grow so it's better for y'all to release each other to so if that's what that person wants to do be in a poly relationship or be with multiple different people that means you need to release that man or that woman so they can be who they want to be and then if you don't want to be in that type of relationship or that type of environment you make the environment for yourself that you are you know what I mean with this with the structure with the, the normal structure one man one woman you know because I'm telling y'all there's a lot of diseases that's coming out right now and um God is on judgment time right now and he's definitely going to be bringing out more sexually transmitted diseases and I I've been hearing this poly thing a lot and I don't think you guys really know what you're getting into I could tell you about myself like I used to be single before I got married, I had, you know, anytime I was in a relationship, like I said, I would be in a relationship, be with that one person. But once we broke up, I was I was out in these streets, just like any other dude or whatever. You know, what I mean, I was naive. I was young. I was just out here trying to get whoever, whatever. You know, what I mean, but I always did wear protection. And that's another thing. You guys need to start wearing protection. I don't care what y'all talking about. It don't feel the same. It ain't supposed to feel the same because guess what? Y'all ain't even supposed to be doing it for the first part of that whole situation. It don't feel the same. Obviously, you're supposed to save that for marriage. So if that's the case, it don't feel the same. That means you need to marry that person, brother, sister. You need to go ahead, tie the knot if you want that good, good pleasure. You know what I mean? But at the, after all of that, y'all need to start strapping up if that's the case, man, because there's a lot of stuff coming. And shoot, I think some of this stuff going to be coming through ripping through them them condoms you know what i mean like i don't even know but listen y'all y'all gotta be more tuned like like i said when me and i was doing it i i, I explained it like i wasn't i'm no better than no one else i'm just thank god i never had caught no diseases no nothing because of my my stupid ignorance of how stuff transfers and and, and and also like yeah, you could feel this stuff like I used to be with I've been with a few women you know what I mean I'm not going to lie I'm not going to say I was a player because all the women I know when I was doing that being single 
and single and mingling. You remember single mingle? I was I was that guy, but I also wore protection. I also know how my spirit felt when I was having relations with certain women. Like certain women, it'd be like nothing. True story. Certain women, it'd be like, oh yeah, it ain't about nothing. You know what I mean? I just I just smashed that. I just, I just oh yeah, she cool. Blah 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 blah. And then other women, it's draining. And that's when you're like, wait a minute, this does make kind of some sense because I used to feel like different relationships that I would like, not relationships, but relations. When I had relations with certain women, I would feel their negative energy. Now, mind you, they could have had a demon on them. They could have had, you know what I mean? Like they just could have been low vibing, but you can feel that. So every time you have an intercourse, you have to know that you're playing with whoever else you're dealing with and their demons that's within them their fears and all of that like that's why when god makes the the union he says you are one because you two are going into each other you are uncertain with him and he is she is uncertain with you so you guys are one together and when you when you're doing it the right way you know it's pure but when you're doing it the, 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 you know, the naive way, the, you know what I mean? The way that the land lets you do it, you know what I mean? You go over here thinking like everything is sweet and you can catch a disease by, by just being, just being that, that girl, that guy, you know what I mean? Like, oh, I, I get them all. Like I, I smashed like 800 women. I smashed a thousand women. I smashed a thousand dudes. Like, and it's even worse for a female and people don't want to ex explain that to these women like every time you have sex with one man just think of it's like 10 10 10 men or a thousand men or 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 six you know what i mean because every man when he's smashing it's like you might have smashed one but that next one smashed like a hundred or that next one could have smashed like 30 but the women because a man's tool is you know outward so it's not the same we don't have to take care of our our genitals the same way as a woman takes care of her genitals like woman's got to be clean down there and um yeah these certain diseases make them stinky and sometimes they be smelling because they've been with a lot of people and people don't you know oh it's just a little a little fishy smell no brother I mean, yeah, there's a certain stench to a, a, that that thing down there, but there's also other stenches that to let you know and give you awareness to this person might have some type of disease or something like that, or this person attracted something by a sexual intercourse, and then people be like, oh, that this bra burnt me, this nigga burnt me, this dude burnt me. I'm sorry to say that, but. You know, I, I still am like, you know what I mean? Like I still talk to everybody like we are all normal human beings. Like I'm not gonna talk to you like, oh, I'm up here with my, you know what I mean? With my knowledge and talk to y'all all like downgrading people. But I mean, I, I slip up words, you know, I still use the M-bomb and I know I shouldn't, but like I was saying, but we need to be on top of our kids to let them know about these diseases we need to know about these diseases more. I remember back in the day, like when I was coming up, we used to have it on, you know, TV commercials all the time. Like now the commercials talk about AIDS and it's like, oh, you could just take these pills. Like what? Now nah, let them know like, yo, you catch AIDS. It's a wrap. That's what you need to let these people know. Like I was scared straight. That's why I wore the jacket when I wore the jacket doing my thing because I was shookity of catching the transmitted disease. I don't care what a chick say. Oh, you wear it. Oh, well, we ain't gonna have sex, baby. Because without this jacket, it ain't going down. It ain't going down. Unless we both getting tested that day right then and there. And then it's gonna go down every time. We gotta go get tested. No, we don't play like that. Life is too short. And life is definitely too short for someone to be catching a, a disease that they don't want. You know what I mean? So, like I said, be mindful. Tell a kid, you know, tell tell these young kids, you know, about the, these lives that they want to live with having like multiple partners and such. And like I said, good thing I never did have that. Um, I never did have the threesome I wanted. And I'm glad now because of the way that, you know, God showed me things and how he moved in my life on about these spirituals 
attacks that can happen when you do get into poly or multiple people. That's why certain people, right? A person can be a straight edge dude, right? He could be a straight and narrow, straight edge, right? Well, as soon as he start messing with a whole bunch of like multiple people, sexual partners and stuff, they, they appetites change. So they might start turning a little strange. Some of these straight edge dudes might start liking trainees because that might pique his interest in some other type of way because you gotta know that there's sex demons out there and they are possessive. So once you start getting different types of entities, you know what I mean? And you don't know nothing about these things. You be like, man, what? How did such and such turn this way? Or how did such and such get that way? Because of the demons that they they let embed in them and then they keep on doing things and these demons start to get stronger. They start adding other demons and mixing and mingling. That's why people are talking about Diddy No. You know what I'm saying? Like you gotta tell Diddy No because that boy is strange, you know what I mean? He needs that strange to get him off now. And and it, it gets like that, just like on any other level. Like, there's drugs, then there's the, it's a sex addiction, it's a drug, you know what I mean? And it's just like, people got to understand, like being with multiple women, when you're with multiple women, you can become addicted to that. And then it becomes a drug. Luckily, like I said, God never got me addicted to none of those things. But I've experienced, you know, multiple partners i've been with different women like i'm not trying to be like i haven't been with multiple partners in my life especially when i was single i would be with different women because i was single and mingling and especially in my time that was like one thing to do like a man that can be like yeah hey, man i had this one i had that one i had this one you know what i mean but i also didn't play it like I never disrespected the woman. I always told the woman we'd be on equal playing fields. Like, uh, listen, I'm single. Uh, well, what could we be? We ain't gonna be nothing but you know friends and with benefits, or we don't have to be that because I'm not trying to catch no charges. I'm not trying to make you be up in your head because that's bondage to me. You know what I mean? And people gotta understand that too, dudes, females. Y'all gotta understand like. If you don't want to be with that person, man, release that person, man. Don't put them in bondage or something that they don't want to be in because now you out here, you know, making it making it better for them or making it better for yourself and you ain't looking out for the next person and the next person might be looking for marriage at that time and you like, "Yo, I'm not even on marriage right now. Like, I'm on this let me let me sow my royal oats back in like you know what I mean? you know what I'm talking about that movie you know what I mean coming to America so you know some people it's all right you can be both adults and talk about these things but like I said don't don't have nobody trapped and um be mindful man wear protection if 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 you're going to do that because not wearing protection in the time that we living in now man I have you all jacked up man and and AIDS ain't nothing to play with, man. Like, taking a pill for the rest of your life, who wants to do some stuff like that? Like, you don't want to do those things, man. So, like I was saying to my kid, like, I guess if they ain't going to teach you in there, I I'm going to teach you because you need to know, like, AIDS is a big deal. HIV is a big deal. Syphilis is a big deal. Hepatitis, A, B, C, whatever. It's all big deals. Mono. Even drinking from another... You know, you can catch you can catch a disease drinking from water fountains. You know what I mean? With, on the same spigot. Like that's that's how I first found out about mono. I was at basketball in school and one dude was saying he got mono from the water fountain. And I was like, I thought you had to kiss somebody to get mono. But that's not the case. Swapping saliva is the case. And you can swap saliva with a drink. And you have to know these things. So like I was saying, I'm starting to get a little hot. So I'm going to let this one sit right there. I'll be back. This is Church from Church's Intake. Like and subscribe.